was the Ultimate Fitness Training once again and thank you so much for watching the video. So today we're doing a video about Ask the Trainer Show. So I've got a couple of people behind the camera. Obviously they'll be shy to be in front of the camera. So they're just behind the camera so they're going to be asking me questions uh, in order to help us become our greatest versions. I really don't know what the questions are going to be like. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to answer them to the best of my ability. So over to the guys behind the camera. First question I've got. If you were looking for your own personal trainer, what would you look for in a trainer? Okay, um, as I always say, obviously, the, the actual particular answer for that is quite a complex one. Obviously, one, uh, one thing I want to say when you look for a trainer is going to be passion, okay? That particular person has to have passion for what he does. However, there's a lot of people out there that obviously are good trainers, but maybe they haven't got the right passion, but that's not for me to comment. So, the other thing I was going to say is, um, I will look for someone that is obviously passionate, as I said, someone that's got the knowledge for the result I want to achieve, i.e. say if I want to build muscle, has that person got the right credentials, got the right information, got the right knowledge in order to help me become my greatest version in that aspect. Uh, have they done it before? Have they transformed their bodies? Have they got track record in helping other people? do the same because obviously if you've never done it before how can you tell them obviously textbook people anyone can read uh, information in the paper and say listen this is how you do it but never done it before so you've got to be able to have someone that has done it before um, the other thing as well uh, someone that's got the right knowledge now someone that is constantly looking to help themselves become a better version so for instance i give you an example uh, me as a trainer i read every single day I mean, some people might think I'm mad. I, I literally go through books says there's no tomorrow. I, t I tend to read, not one book a, a day, but one book a week. I try to read 100 pages a day uh, about things, about nutrition, about supplementation, about coaching, about ways of helping my clients get the best information I can in order to help them become the best they can. And that then is making me, as I say, uh, if I'm helping them become the best, I'm becoming the best I can become. And uh, the other thing as well, is how then that trainer puts the emotional side of it as well. Uh, a lot of the guys out there that train people forget, obviously this particular job is not just about training, because uh, nine times out of ten anyone can train anybody, okay, it's the actual psychology side. Are you motivating that client? Does that client believe in you? Does that client get motivated by you? Does that client get the right coaching by you? Because anyone can go on the internet, download the program and just follow the program, whether you're going to do it or not, it's another thing. Um, remember about, especially with the, we live in the in information age, anyone can get how to do it, it's how you're going to do it. How to do it is one thing, how you're going to do it is another thing, do you know? So that is the, really the big thing. So, next question I got. How do you adapt your coaching styles and training styles to suit individual client needs? Yeah, good question. Uh, obviously, as you guys know, obviously I'm a, I'm a coach, I'm an NLP coach, uh, stroke psychologist. So what I tend to do, I tend to utilize my skills that I've acquired all over the years and skills that I basically used with clients and in myself, uh, uh, basically to help others. Now, what I tend to do, say for instance, if I'm training someone that is quite kinesthetic, Obviously, I make sure when I mean connected, I mean people are, are more touched with their feelings. I tend to adapt a, a, a training coaching style of which measures the feelings. Um, for some of you guys who probably know about this, uh, do some research about kinesthetic people. Um, people are more visual, I'll adapt a coaching visual training session. So if some people love the way they look or they want to look in a particular way. So it's about the way they look rather than the way they feel. If I'm talking about someone that is more auditory digital, someone that likes, say for instance, statistics, uh, likes numbers, wants to know how, whether they're progressing, then obviously I'm massive on that particular thing as well. So obviously I show them how much they're progressing so they can really see um, and structureize their, 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 their development based on what they are developing with me. So that way, really, that's how I adapt my training. So I've got loads of clients, obviously some of them are kinesthetic, some of them are visual, some of them are totally visual, some of them are a bit of a mixture of everything, but more in others, another size. So that's how I kind of like structure uh, the training styles. Obviously the psychology style is about motivation as well. I'm very good at basically analyzing people's emotions. So I'm very, obviously for some people I shout, for some people I'm more like a arm around the shoulder, or some people are more like, sort of like, you feel like they like, um, a lot more, uh, if you like, motivational from the emotional point of view rather than being shouted at. They like to be told 
whether they're doing right or wrong, do you know? So obviously you've got to understand, this is what I said, personal training is not just training, it's about understanding the other parts of what comes with your psychology, which is training, which is coaching, which is the emotional side, loads of different ways to do it. So you spend all day, every day, motivating people, coaching people, do you ever get burnt out? Do I? Do you ever get burnt out? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, obviously a lot, a lot of people don't, I mean, unless you do it, you will know. I mean, a, a lot of people think it's a fun job, obviously, absolutely. Uh, best job in the world. Uh, I wouldn't choose any other thing. But, uh, however, uh, yeah, it's hard work, very hard work, because obviously your, your job doesn't finish. When you finish with client, your job doesn't finish. You've got all the things to do. You've got about planning. You've got about, uh, obviously, as you guys know now, the, obviously, the internet is massive, obviously, with Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. So, really, that's another part of the job. Uh, of which, obviously, believe it or not, comes to a point where sometimes you 24 7. You literally train. You're training, you're motivating people, you're constantly on it. And it's sometimes very hard, I, I agree, it's very hard to switch off. And it's kind of like, without a shadow of a doubt, you can get burnt out. Um, I've been burnt out massively. I've learned uh, my lesson. However, because I love my job, sometimes it's hard not to uh, be at your job every single day, every single minute. But uh, I do try to kind of sometimes switch off. It's hard to switch off because uh, when I go out with my mates, well, guess what they talk about? Carlos Andrew Shen. So it's sometimes it's hard because obviously everyone, nowadays everyone wants to look good, everyone wants to look a stronger version of themselves, fitter version of themselves, and an healthier version of themselves. So it's, it's hard, but um, I won't change it for the world. So it's, uh, I love it. Cool. That's it for me. I'm happy with everything. Fantastic. Right? Any other questions? Brilliant. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, obviously, these two guys are very shy of coming right in front of the camera. But anyway, I'm sure they'll, they'll make a guest appearance very shortly. So we know it's fun, guys, on Instagram, which is Carlos Trainer 10. Also on YouTube, which is Carlos Trainer. And with all that said, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay fit. Have a beautiful day. Take care.